Hello everyone. Today I will introduce a KCEVE dual monitor KVM switcher to you. This is a switch button. Basic parameters. Two PC inputs. Two monitor output. This is the inputs of PC1, input A1, input B1. The inputs of PC2, input A2 and input B2. Interface of USB 3.0. Outa. OUTB connected to the monitors. Four USB 3.0 ports for USB devices. District of Columbia 5V power interface. When you need higher resolution or when inserting the SSD mobile hard disk, please connect 5 volts. This is the interface for wired remote control. Remote control in the box. Now let's me show you this dual monitor KVM switch. First, we prepared a laptop computer and a desktop computer. Both monitors support HDMI interface. We are equipped with two USB 3.0 cables. The desktop has two HDMI interfaces. We have to connect two HDML cables to the KVM at the same time. Plugged into two HDML cables of PC1. Connect the USB 3.0 cable. The laptop has one HDMI port, USB-A and USB-C ports. We have prepared a USB-C to HDML converter. Now let's plug in this converter. Connect HDMI cable and USB cable. Another HDML cable connected to the converter. We have connected the laptop cables and the desktop cables. Look again at the cable connection HDML cable. USB cable. Another HDML cable connected to the converter. HDMI cable of monitor B. HDMI cable of monitor A. These are the USB cable and HDML cables of the desktop computer. KVM switcher and the matching. Wired remote control. Wireless keyboard mouse and the receiver. Let's connect the KVM. Now connect the desktop. HDML cable plugged into input A1. Input B1. USB cable from desktop computer. Plug in the laptop's USB cable. HDMI cables plugged into input A2 and input B2. Connect monitor 1 to out A. When using the dual monitor KVM, two HDML cables must be connected to provide input sources to two monitors at the same time. This is a USB receiver. Plugged into this USB port. These four ports are exactly the same. 1.5 meters wired remote control. Wired remote plugged into the select port. With the cables connected, let's sort out. These are three cables of the laptop. Connect to PC 2 inches of the KVM. Three cables from the desktop computer. Connect to PC 1 inch of the KVM. Out A and Out B connect two monitors. Now let's test switching between computers. Test the USB hub function. First, test the wireless keyboard and mouse. Press the Windows key. Please look at the laptop. When we only need two external monitors, we need to set it up. Press Windows plus P to set to the option you need. Now the notebook no longer has an image. Monitor 2 becomes a primary display. Monitor 1 becomes a secondary display. Use this button to switch to desktop computer. After pressing, the indicator light is switched to PC1 which is a blue light. Windows can be moved between two screens. Move to monitor one. This is good. This KVM has EDID emulation function. Look at the screen. Let's switch to the laptop. In the application process of our work, we will cross use two computers. Switch to laptop by remote control. Digital LED 2 lights up. This is the screen of laptop. When we switched back to the desktop, both the two windows just opened. Haven't changed at all. This is the real KVM switching without changing. The window arrangement. PC remains connected to the monitor by default. Switch at will. The window arrangement remains the same. If you need two monitors to output at the same time, your computers need support two HDML output, or support one HDMI and one USB-C output. Note. Not compatible with DP, VGA to HDMI converter.